hello you guys and welcome back to my channel mariah davidi here and in today's video i'm going to show you guys how i achieved this look so i'm doing a new eyeshadow series and i call it the canva series i was on facebook um and i noticed that canva posted like color palette pic pictures of like different colored themes and it really intrigued me so I screenshotted them because I was like, oh my god, like th those are beautiful like eyeshadow inspiration pics. And then the next day I saw more. And then the following day I saw more. So I took screenshots of the ones that I knew that I wanted to do looks based off of as a challenge. Um, and so I'm starting that today officially. I did a neutral one um, because I did see a neutral color palette. And so that's what I started off with first. This is the most natural in terms of shades that you're going to get. I know it's really dramatic, but I want to have fun with this eyeshadow series. So I'm going to show you how I did it. I am going to do a voiceover, but I'm going to explain in depth. And uh, I don't want to ramble on too long. We're going to get right into this look. And if you are new to my channel, um, please subscribe, thumbs up this video, leave a comment, and I will see you guys in another video. So we're going to kick this look off with getting into our base. So I already did my eyebrows off cam, and now I'm applying my first primer, which is the Fenty Pro Filter Primer, the hydrating version. Just because I want my skin to be a little bit more plump today and then i'm actually mixing primer so i'm going in with the p louise block o'clock primer and this is for more a little bit more oil control and smoothing i have a little bit of a breakout on my skin so i use that sometimes when i want a little bit more of a blurring effect here i'm taking my color corrector of choice and i'm just color correcting in areas where i get where i am hyper pigmented which is like my cheeks and my neck and things like that so if you don't need to do that step, you can skip that, but this is what I do. My foundation of choice is the Huda Beauty Full Filter, my tried and true, and I'm using a damp sponge to apply this as I usually do. After applying my foundation base, I'm going to go in and contour. Now for my cream contour, I'm actually using a bronzer. I'm using the deepest shade in the NARS Laguna line. So this is Laguna 5. And I love this cream to powder product because it's exactly that. Cream to powder. So it's amazing to work with. Really blendable. And I just, I love it. I love how it lays on the skin. For my concealer, I'm using the Huda Beauty Full Filter Concealer. And then I'm going to blend that out with the same damp sponge. And I use this concealer in the center of my face, so my forehead, down my nose, my chin, and then under my eyes. And I also do, if you notice, I do my inner corner and my outer corner. I don't do the center. And that's just for product reasons. And I just connect the two and blend that out. I'm using a cream blush. I forget the shade, but I got it from my local beauty supply store. I believe it's from LA Colors, though. It's a terracotta color. I just can't remember the name. I'm using my Huda Beauty Blondie Powder to set under my eyes and the center of my face. This does help control oils and I do feel like it helps add an additional blurring effect. Makeup can't completely hide texture, but I do feel like there are products on the market that will help basically eliminate and blur out the skin just a bit, but it can't completely eliminate the texture. So I went in with my face powder all over my face and then I'm going in with my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder right now in the shade 35 and this helps brighten under my eyes just a little bit more. I also use the shade 56 all over just for again added blurness and just perfection. I'm going in to contour now the hollows of my cheeks, my jawline, and my forehead. And then I'm going to overlap my bronzer just on the hollows of my cheeks and my forehead. So I'm using, I believe I used Juvia's Place um, bronzer in dark. I've been feeling Juvia's Place bronzer for the last couple of times I've done my makeup. I'm also using Juvia's Place blush. I believe this is volume six. It's the one with the bright orange in it. Ugh. Juvia's Place blushes are pretty. And then for my highlighter, this is my mm, Kiss. I believe it's from the brand Kiss. Their bronze and glow powder in the shade medium. I'm using that to highlight. 
and then I'm misting down my face with the Makeup Revolution Mattifying Mister. So I said this in my previous video, I use this as, as the same way that I use it as Fix Plus, which is just to help blend and even out the layers of makeup and everything melt together. You guys can see how my face settles in. It's really a trust the process type of vibe. <laughs> I know I can look crazy, but it all comes together and that's just the most important thing. So I'm priming my eyes with the P. Louise base and then I'm smoothing that in. And for those of you that wonder what the point of eyeshadow primer or primer in general is, think of it like painting. You want to use something and lay down a primer to help better adherence of the products you lay on top of it. So that's exactly the point of primer. I'm laying down my first dark brown color in my crease and I'm bringing that closer into my brow bone. I'm really drawing that in and concentrating and building up the color and then blending out the edges. Here I am taking my face powder and blending out and diffusing that initial crease color. I want to make sure that everything is nice and seamless. Um, and then here I'm adding a deeper color. I'm adding the black. Um, the palette that I'm using today is actually Jordana Tisha, their nude, I think it's nude divinity. I'm using that palette. So I use a dark brown and a black in my crease and blended that out. Now I'm going to cut my crease. So I'm taking a flat brush with the same eyeshadow base that I applied and I'm going to work slowly and stamp out my shape again because I dragged the crease color closer to my um, brow bone I'm just creating a really nice defined shape and so I'm bringing that primer even onto like my nose a little bit to really carve out my lid space I'm going to smooth that out because we don't want any harsh lines for when I'm ready to apply my shadow you want to make sure that if you're going to add any more base you want to smooth out the edges before you lay down your shadow because then you'll be able to see that line of demarcation so once that's blended out and diffused, I'm going to apply a nice beige color to the center portion of my lids. I'm going to go back in with that dark brown color on the outskirts. And then for the fourth color, I'm going to apply like a caramel-like tan shade in between that first light beige and the dark brown. And that's like the color palette that I showed at the beginning of the video meshed together so now we're just going to go into doing our liner i'm using abh's cream waterproof gel liner in the shade jet it's their jet black um liner i'm using an angled brush and i'm just working on building up that tail and then filling in where i need to and building up that liner until i am satisfied with the shape i do my bottom lash line and liner off camera and now we're going into my lip i'm applying sweet tea lip pencil from morphe this lipstick is so beautiful it's Commit from Morphe. They're matte lipstick. Look at that color. It's so pretty. I can't believe I've waited so long to like really rock that shade, but it's very gorgeous. And then this liner is a black brown eyeliner from, I believe, LA Girl. And I'm going to use that to add dimension. And then I'm using All Things Magical Lip Glass from MAC. And this is the look. So what do we think? I love how this look turned out. I wanted to do something a little bit different with bringing my crease color just into like my nose bridge a little bit more and I like how it turned out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you guys in another one soon. Bye guys!